unfortunately this cable is quite big so the the hole that I made behind the motherboard is too small to let this cable go through. This is cable for one of the SSDs, which means that I will have to take off everything that you can see here. The water reservoir, the motherboard, the graphics card, the trucks, and the radiators, everything has to go. Here's the culprit of all the all, all those things. This is the little hole that I made. And take it out. This SATA cable. We're gonna make it better, bigger, and so that uh, yeah, it will fit all the cables in. My aim is to make sure that no cables are going over the skateboard so that they are all hidden. Finally have received very lovely cables from Cable Mod. I'm going to feed each cable through the deck and so that that will take a while obviously because it has to be one by one and to make sure that each cable goes into the right slot I'm gonna replace these fittings with the white ones that I have already there so it's gonna be one by one meticulously done to make sure everything is correctly done I remember when I got my first set of Legos as a child I could spend an entire day just building something it was amazing this is how it feels for me now amazing I have quite a large collection of Legos. Lego Technics. Formula One Legos. Lego House. Lego Pirates. Okay, first row is done and last one. So I pulled some of the pins out completely and so it took a little bit more time than I anticipated. Luckily I've got a special tool to recramp it cut my finger, so gloves is a good idea. And yet pulled another one. I think you can't squeeze the tool too hard, in. You, you can't push it too hard, otherwise it's gonna s get stuck and it, it's, it holds the pins together. So when you pull it hard, you pull the pins out all together. You have to push it hard enough to, to dislocate the pins so that you can pull it, but not hard enough so that you actually jam it all together. Here's what's going on here today. I've uh, stayed late at night to connect all the cables and put everything back together and today is the day where we actually are going to find out whether it's going to work or it's going to have some sort of fireworks so either way it's either gonna go fantastically good or just plain bad <laughs> either way it's good 
So after checking, well, let's check first and see then. Let's do this. Okay, the anticipation. This is the crucial moment because I haven't switched this on yet. This is the first time I'm switching this on. Many things could have gone wrong, but I think I've done my absolute best. And this is the moment. I'm going to press the button. Absolute amazing flawless victory. Okay, monitor. Okay, it's CPU fine, that's no problem. I, I know about this. Okay. That's because I have changed the location of the CPU fan. Okay, we're in bias. Now I have to delete the one, disable the CPU, CPU fan speed, ignore. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now we can proceed with what's going on here. I wanted to focus on to hard drive mounting. So probably gonna go into hard drive mounting first. Install this mount. Storage wise, we're gonna use Samsung 850 EVO 500 gigabytes, which is gonna be used for backup. The main drive, we're gonna use Intel 750 series 400 gig, which is gonna be crazy fast. Because there's no, not gonna be any airflow on the back of the skateboard, I'm planning to use actual CPU fan, which I'm gonna modify to go on top of that SSD. I believe the SSD has got temperature sensors uh, already built in, so I'm not gonna have to use uh, extra thermistor cable. So this is the, the cooler that's gonna go on top. Of course, I'm gonna modify it so that there is no uh, endings and it's gonna be nice and flush. Both SSDs are going to be mounted in the same way as the radiator says mounted. So I'm gonna use aluminum flat bar, cover it in a PVC pipe, PVC uh, shrink wrap position nicely just behind and screw it in the same screws that are used to hold the trucks. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's get to it. to mount the SSD that way and if I do that the spacings in the tracks holes are shorter which means I won't be able to mount SSD and then if I mount SSD like this 
that means uh, there, will, there will be more cables exposed and it won't look as good. I have to think of something else to mount the SSD that way. And so one obvious solution would be to cut two small pieces like this and drill the holes and use those as a spacings to hold these. And that makes sense. And that way it, it's much better because I try to avoid possible shortage in any case. So I don't need, need to use spacings because there won't be any contact between the trucks and the radiators because there's PVC in every possible way. For example, if, if there would be some sort of current going through trucks for some reason, it will not destroy SSDs. So the only contact, contact with SSD is through the actual SATA cables and power cables. <laughs> Thank you. 